name's Steven Sheldon. I've been in this for, I think, going on 15 years now. After I ran a tank for a few years, and kind of become a, a fanatic about it and ended up opening up a store here about five years ago and um, keep a variety of coral in here, just about everything we can get our hands on. I like to bring in and collect, you know, a lot of rare species if I can. Acanthophilia there, we have scolies, um, Aiken lords are these guys there, those are colonies. We like to propagate those and sell them. Um, these guys over here are all Aikens. Um, there's some Bauer Bankies there, another Aiken tank, just tons of Aikens. So yeah, definitely our, our favorite coral here at Aiken Lord. What's cool about it too is it's sustainable. I mean, right now the, the oceans are kind of having a rough time with, with warming and, and pollutants and things like that. And so you're getting bleaching and coral dying in mass quantities and here we're able to kind of take that, preserve it. And if you think about it, I think in the grand scheme of things, um, once the corals are gone out of the ocean, um, we'll be able to give back fragments of, of what's been taken. So I think there's a really cool um, concept to keeping reef tanks for everyone. In the late 70s, there was maybe eight to 10 people that were in here and the industry has grown to being close to uh, over a million now. So um, I think it's a great thing. Um, I think the more people we have in this, um, the more aware everybody's gonna be about what's going on in the ocean and the more sustainable things are gonna be. So yeah, the, the reason that I got into it uh, was just, you know, keeping a reef tank is kind of a feeling of, of Christmas or you know how Christmas kind of gives you, that, gives you that feeling of excitement or joy. Reefing kind of does the same thing. To have a fish tank in your house, um, you have the calmness of the water, the colors to look at, um, the happiness of the fish kind of swimming up to you, excited to see you. It's just, or it's just a really beautiful thing to kind of um, get to have the opportunity to have something like this in your home. And now technology allows for that to be actually pretty, pretty simplistic. So I'm in so much love with the ocean. I would say, yeah, I, I think that. Um, the difference between somebody helping the ocean and not is getting to know like what these animals are doing and I think it's just the knowledge aspect of it. Um, you know, knowing how to take care of the animals in terms of research. The longer this industry goes on, the more information people are gathering. There's not a shortage of people who are interested in learning things. And now with, you know, cell phones, we can get online and and you know look up in anything and there, the information's out there. Chemistry, the lighting, um, nutrient levels, uh, alkalinity levels, calcium levels, just everything that you can imagine. Um, you know, dosing from dosing nitrate to phosphate in my tanks to, you know, more water changes or less water changes, quality of salt, everything, yeah. My background is actually I went to school for uh, city planning and urban design. So um, just as far as the design, I, I, I would say I'm an artistic mind. I, I like to design things. I like, you know, intricacies of, of how things work. Um, I like working with uh, electronics. Um, I like the photography aspect of the business, so I've gotten into that quite a bit. Um, but I also like music, so I, I write a lot of music. I, I'm kind of involved in the music industry a little bit. I'm kind of a jack of all trades, master of, of none. I like, I like uh, working on cars. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think life's too short not to experience a little bit of everything. Like, I really want to it's hard for me to kind of stay in one place. This is the, probably the longest I've ever stayed on one thing, the coral thing. You kind of want to see what's around the next corn all the time. I think you kind of know what I'm saying, cruising around the country. Yeah. Um, but it's just there's so many things in life to discover, and everything is just so interesting. How can you kind of stop at one thing? I, I look at these guys that work this one single desk job their entire life, and I think, Man, what a waste. There's so much to learn. And honestly, I think it's all about discovering who you are and where you're going and, and what you're capable of.